Hi all, today is going to be a very short video. I have received this comment on one of my previous videos. Can you make a video showing us how to upload a multiple custom fonts to Squarespace? This is going to be the topic of this video. I'm going to show you how you can upload multiple different fonts and assign them to different paragraphs and headings available inside the Squarespace. If you have more questions related to website design and Squarespace, don't hesitate to share them in the comments below. And if you're new here on this channel, I share website design and marketing tips, tutorials, and how-to videos for creators and entrepreneurs. Also, if you're looking to kickstart your website, but do not want to start building from scratch, be sure to check it out. The link in the description to explore our Squarespace. All right, so let's jump in. And the first thing that we need is obviously different fonts. I have this folder with four different fonts that I'm going to be um, uploading to my Squarespace website today. Um, if you don't have your fonts yet, you can get them for free on Google fonts or a great resource would be um, Vital Elements or Creative Market. Let's jump in, so click on a website and scroll all the way down to website tools and click on a custom CSS. We're going to use this code to add our font files inside our uh, Squarespace. And then what we need to do here under the custom files, we can add our font here. So let's start with the first one. Just simply drag and drop your font. Acta display medium has been uploaded. The first thing is we want to add a URL. So select this, make sure that you keep the brackets and just remove it and keep your cursor here and then go back to the custom file and click on this file. So now this has been uploaded to the Squarespace. And now all we have to do is copy the name of this font and place it in here. Okay, looks good. But as you see, nothing has changed. Let's go inside this page. And this is just a simple text. And if I highlight the text and do a drop down here, we have a lot of different options. So we have heading one, heading two, heading three, and four. And similarly, we have different paragraphs, options, and monospace. So basically, the way it works in Squarespace, each of these different headings has its own class. So class is something that will be assigned uh, the back end, so an HTML, and which we can target and use to assign a custom font. Let me just show you what I mean. So first, let's make this heading one, and then let's duplicate it. So I'm just gonna basically add all of them to, to one page. So I want to have H1, H2, H3, etc. Okay, so now this is ready. We have the headings and paragraphs assigned. So now let's go back to our panel. And here's a simple chart that shows what kind of classes Squarespace uses for each heading and each paragraph. Heading one, it's H1. Heading two, it's H2 and so on. And for paragraph, we have a square large, P, square small, and prep. And this is a classes we're going to be using later to assign our fonts. I want to assign active display medium to our H1 type in h1 then open the brackets and then we want to copy this family font family and assign it over here and you see immediately this font has changed but none of the other headings has been affected we can also assign it to let's say to h1 and h3 so just use a comma and let's do h3 for example so this one was our H3. And as you see now, accordingly, H1 and H3 has been assigned this different font. Okay, let's keep it like that and let's upload a different font. So I'm gonna repeat the same process. So I'm gonna paste this code and then I'm gonna open up a custom file. And this time I'm gonna add this, this font. I waited for this to upload. Select all of this inside under the URL and make sure you keep the brackets. Keep your cursor in between the brackets and then select this font. And the next step would be uh, to copy exactly the name of the font. So, and place it over here with the font family. I'm gonna remove it and place it and click save. As you see, we can upload as many uh, font faces as we want. Also, I do not uh, recommend uploading more than three different typefaces because it's just gonna slow down your website. If nothing's gonna happen if we just upload them because we have to actually assign them. Let's do assignments for the paragraphs. We have paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, and each one of them has a different class as well. So let's assign this 
font to and for this one it's important that you keep this dot in front it just indicates the class and so i'm going to assign this font here this was our h paragraph one and it's immediately its appearance has been changed you can also assign things like color for example color red but be careful with that i do not suggest upon assigning because it's actually gonna assign it everywhere. And as you know, on Squarespace, we have different themes. So we have a dark theme, we have a light theme, or like a bright, it depends on the background of, of your section. The color would need to change. And if you do an assignment of the color inside the custom CSS, it would assign all over the website, no matter what kind of theme uh, your website is using. Okay, so that was this, the second paragraph. Uh, so I'm gonna remove it and let's say okay I'm gonna save this and let's say for this one we want to assign the same this very first font so I guess the regular paragraph would be P and I'm just gonna copy this name of this font and assign it over here you see this one has changed we can also combine, for example, if we want, would like similarly uh, using comma. Right now, this one is H2 and this one is H4. And we want to assign the same grotesque font for, let's say, H4. See, this one is now H4. And we can also do it for H2. Now H2. So currently, we have this actor display medium assigned to H1, H3, and regular paragraph. And we have active grotesque assigned to h2 and h4 and large paragraph and so i'm going to do the last one let's upload one more font and that's going to be this italic font so the same process we have repeated already two times we remove whatever the url there is we select our font and then go back to our font folder and click rename and just copy the name and insert it here okay let's do this font for the for that one <clears throat> sometimes if the code doesn't work like some font doesn't reflect all you have to do is add this tag which called important which just indicates that whatever the the code that written on squarespace is not important and our code is actually more important than theirs so now we have assigned the different style to this to this monospace font okay so this is the way uh, oh wait i have not actually assigned this brush to any font so let's say we want to assign it to one of the um, paragraphs now this paragraph has been assigned the brush font you can do it and you can assign new fonts to different headings and paragraphs inside the score space i hope this was helpful thank you